Look to the deepest secrets of different bills. Hey, don't go dim me, you need it, I got it listed here. Yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it here. Yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done yet. Yeah. We're from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the rap was coming up next. Only scratch the surface. Still, they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me when you ain't like me. Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, right? Now listen, before we get too far in this video, you know exactly what you need to do. Make sure you drop a like, and let's get this video to at least 1,000 likes. That would definitely push the video to the recommended. And furthermore, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe. I'm by far the hardest working YouTuber in the 2K community, and hopefully you can appreciate that 9 a.m. and that 5 p.m. daily double uploads. You can show that appreciation by dropping a like and subscribing, all right? Now, let's get straight into this video. So today, my nephews and nieces, what we're gonna talk about is the best bronze shooting badges you can get on NBA 2K22 current and next gen. So you hear that correctly. This is gonna be for current and next gen users, okay? So the thing is, is that even though we're talking about a PlayStation 4, a PlayStation 5, or an Xbox, or the next gen Xbox, regardless, they have the same numbers right they're going to give you the same effect because these badges are the same on both gens okay so what we want to talk about first all right first i want to get out of the way if you have not already seen my best shooting badges you definitely want to go check it out the link um, will be in the description and you also will see it pop up at the top but the badges that you want to we want to already know like hey we already know blinders is a must-have badge we know hot zone hunter is a must-have badge right we know sniper and stop and pop or must match um, and mismatch experts are must have badges. Now, even if you're somebody that does not even have the capability of getting all these badges on Hall of Fame, getting them on gold um, is going to be a benefit. And also getting these just on bronze will be a benefit. But, you know, that is can be explained in another video. And this is not the video to try to explain what are the best badges to get. So I wanted to just to go ahead and touch base on badges because if you're like, hey, Uncle Demi, how come you didn't use that badge? That is because these badges usually are already going to be used up and taken. So you want to have these badges already used up and taken. And of course, if you are a spot up shooter, you most likely you will have catch and shoot already taken. So these badges, I'm pretty sure we can all agree, will already be used by a primary ball handler or by a catch and shoot lockdown or something like that. So then the next question would be, what are the builds that you will want to use for bronze badges and get the best effect out of it okay so what we're going to do first is this the first badge that we're going to talk about believe it or not is going to be dead eye okay so we know how blinders get so much love right and and honestly there's a reason for it all right a lot of people crab and a lot of people get a lot of shots to the side but there are still times where you will get a shot right in front of somebody and as you can see right here jump shots taken with the defender closing out receive less of a penalty from a shot contest so these are different this is head on where blinders is on the side this badge right here just by having it on bronze you're going to see a significant increase until you're shooting um, uh, um your make percentage and that's the reason why dead eye is such a viable badge and a lot of people sleep on it but the fact is is that yes blinders is successful but dead eye is just as good all right so you want to get this badge here if you possibly can at any time now the another badge that you will want to look at and get and tell me i'm telling you right now is lucky seven lucky seven has by far one of the most greatest jumps from no badge to bronze i think it's like 18 percent now lucky seven gives a boost to a mid-range or three-point shot attempts within the first seven seconds of a possession when you throw on a bronze badge most of the time it's just a throwaway badge but this is actually not i get lucky seven popping up a lot you will be amazed at how many times you're quickly throwing up shots in transition or just how many times soon you take the ball out you have an open shot and lucky seven is such a really really good badge and i'm telling you this happens and you get it in rec you can get it in a 2v2 you get it in the threes doesn't matter lucky seven pops up it's a really good badge trust me you do not want to just throw this badge to the side with the thought process of like um oh man i'll never get a shot up in seven seconds yes you will <laughs> you actually shoot a lot within that game you might get two or three shots with that and just by having that significant boost i see a lot of my shots because i use this badge on every single one of my builds i have lucky seven i always find a way to make sure i have lucky seven on so 
just understand that regardless of how you might think you're not shooting within seven seconds equipped it is worth the equipping and then playing and seeing what your play style if this is a badge that you will want to utilize so keep that in mind okay now another badge that is going to be really really good as far as using as bronze is going to be corner specialist okay now the thing about corner specialist is this even if you're a primary guard and you're trying to you know again like you know you have some guards that might have you know circus threes um equipped also everybody likes doing fades um and even if you're not a fade you're just a lockdown that's in the corner that's doing catch and shoot obviously you have catch and shoot hall of fame but trust me having bronze stacked up with this corner specialist is a really 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 good bad stack okay once again and i'm trying to stress this over and over again corner specialist you know dead eye lucky seven that went over so far they are so good with um with bronze that it's it's ridiculous to not even have it if you're going to be in that spot so understand if you're going to be spying up in the corner yes it's good to have hot catch and shoot it's good to have hot zone hunter it's good to have sniper you know but throwing on bronze corner specialist along with bronze dead eye so let's say for instance if you was a catch and shoot type guard and you didn't have all these badges here of course because you don't need that right just imagine looking at a stack like this right now keep in mind you might not even have hall of fame badges as a lockdown you might be something like this right but look at this you have blinders you have catch and shoot you have corner specials dead eye and lucky seven on bronze with with gold sniper and then gold hot zone hunter right you're immediately going to have a really really good bad stack trust me is something that you definitely want to have as um corner specialist all right and then so we'll take these off because i don't want to sit here and waste your time now another really really good one is going to be volume shooter all right let me go ahead and get these back so i don't confuse nobody that's skipping ahead and stuff <laughs> all right um so another another badge is going to be volume shooter now this is obviously going to be for that guard that is going to be throwing up a lot of shots now the thing is is this just because you're shooting um one or two shots a game it wouldn't make sense but if you're going to be the primary ball handler and you're going to be shooting a lot and you have something like this because again you can see a guard right a, a guard where they want to have this a primary ball handling guard will probably have something like this and then i will recommend bronze badges so then they can have something like this right and then they'll either have stopper pop or they'll have volume shooter but i mean i'm um, rhythm shooter but by having volume shooter on bronze once again you see a significant jump from having no badge to bronze volume shooter it's definitely something that's worth having if you have the opportunity to get bronze volume shooter you definitely want to get it because literally volume shooter pops up as you see right here a player after play has taken a small handful of shots an additional boost to the shot attributes is given for every subsequent shot whether it's a make or miss so you don't have to make it for this to pop up and it's literally after the second shot all right so it doesn't say it says taking a small handful of shots it's literally after the second shot volume shooter will stop popping up so if you are a guard and you know you're shooting you know five six times a game volume shooter on bronze is definitely worth having okay so for the most part these are the bronze badges and i'm gonna go ahead and take these away that i feel like are definitely worth having so if you want to look at this real quick here these four badges here are definitely worth having on bronze okay so if you have the opportunity to get it on bronze definitely go ahead and do that um some honorable mentions that i will do real quick because i don't want this video to be long-winded clutch shooter is another good one but it's just not enough for me to go ahead and put it in front of these also limitless spot up is another good one but once again how many people are actually spotting up from limitless but if you are someone that spots up from limitless i also recommend looking at that but once again having these badges on bronze is nothing wrong with just going ahead and, and activating them on bronze and see if you see a difference these jumps are really really huge from no badge to bronze badge i can't stress that enough so by all means please go ahead and try it out and let me know in the comment section how they're doing for you right i'd be really good if you can do that let me know in the comment section how these badges are doing for you but other than that my nephews and nieces hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did you know exactly what you need to do just make sure you drop a like you subscribe to the channel and as usual your favorite old head uncle demi i'll be back really really soon with another banger you know when i say i'm back soon with a banger you know exactly what i'm talking about i'm talking about tomorrow man i'm out